This is the story of how an undercover Israeli Mossad spy conned the Egyptians by pretending to be a French modernist painter. This is also the story of how Israeli artist Damir Sadok went back to Egypt in search of the paintings and reinterprets the whole situation, filming through the lens of a secret agent and working as some type of artist spy, creating fake art. For me, it's uh, only a trigger. I mean, I use him as a platform for discussing um, other stuff that is interesting for me. In the 1950s, legendary Mossad agent Shlomo Cohen Abarbanel went on a mission to Egypt, assuming the identity of a Bohemian French painter named Charles Duval. Charles Duval. His mission was to track down Nazi war criminals and German rocket scientists providing assistance to the Arab armies. Through his artwork, Char Duval managed to impress the Egyptian elites and even received an exhibition of his own at the National Museum of Cairo. And he was so successful over there that he also sold two of his work to the, um, the collection of the, of the museum. And it was the trigger for my work. I went uh, in the last year uh, to search for his work in Egypt. So the film is kind of like an um, adventure film or a thriller that I'm traveling to Arab countries in order to find this work. While Abarbanel came from a European Jewish background and therefore pretended to be a French painter, Tamir Sadok makes use of his half Libyan, half Yemenite background to blend into the local Egyptian population and search for the painting while raising questions about Jewish Arab identity. I wanted to create some analogy between me and him. Like the first shot of the film so um, an expert holding a picture of him, of Shlomo Koina Bravanel, the agent, and you see me in the background. And it's kind of like doing the same kind of like figure that you have in the picture. So from the first shot, you're supposed to think that there is some kind of analogy between these two characters. Examining the role of the Mistaravim military units, specifically trained to assimilate among the local Arab population, performing intelligence gathering and counter-terrorism operations. The name is derived from the Arabic Mustarabi, meaning those who live among the Arabs, referring to the Mustarabi Jews. The name Shardubal disappeared from the art scene soon after the artist departed from Egypt. The whereabouts of the paintings he sold in Egypt remain a mystery.